Hello, this is Abiodun Mustafa. I hope you're doing pretty well and you're having an amazing time. I, like I promised a um, couple of people in my network that I will be taking out time to begin an Ask Me section. So it's an Ask Abiodun Mustafa session where you send your questions to me and then I just do a video to really answer them. So I have a couple of people that sent their questions and I have a lot of them here yeah? so i'll be doing well to answer a couple of them tonight all right so i would um, start by taking some of these questions one after the other and i'll be doing well to see how to provide answers to them okay so i will start from i'll start in no order exactly but i will just do well to answer them so someone is trying to ask that how was I able to balance career and business and can I talk about personal development and talk about career? Okay, now this is one very important thing you need to take note for the person who asks this question is that you must understand that whether it's business, whether it's your personal life, whether it's your career, you must consider everything as a calling that demands your full, committed, and um, intentional effort to ensure that you excel at them. So irrespective of what area it may be, whether it's your business, you take your business as a calling, you are willing to ensure that you excel at it, you give everything essential to succeed at it. If it happens to be your career, you do the same. Your personal life, you do the same. Your career and family, you do the same. You take every area of your life as a calling and you give exceptional commitment to ensure that they succeed at it. And this is the best trick that you have to understand is that whenever you want to do something in a particular area, you give full concentration to it. You are present at it and you ensure that you succeed at that thing you're doing. For example, maybe you happen to be, say, maybe a student, and you have academic responsibility, and while you're doing a lot of that academic responsibility, you still feel like there's something more you need to do. At the moment where you have to be involved in that area of academic, you give it full commitment, you give it full concentration, and you ensure that you are present to excelling at it. And every time when there's a privilege to give yourself towards this area that you feel um, you have a passion about, you have a calling or ministry about, you give it full concentration and you ensure that you excel at it. So the ability to create that balance is that you begin to determine priorities, determine priorities, and in determining each of those priorities, you ensure that the effort that needs to be given to the number one is not reduced, and then you are giving that effort to that which is number 10 in your priority. So you determine priority per time in terms of the present moment, in terms of the relevance right now, and in terms of the time demanded at this particular time. If you can understand that every area is a calling, and when you need to do something in that area, you give it full commitment, it would help you to create that balance. So I hope I've been able to answer this question okay i have um some questions relating to okay so um this is stephanos she's trying to ask that how can one develop in academia yet at the very same time you want to develop in ministry family business and all are calling the attention of this very same person so it's related to the previous question so like i said you create priority at this time, what is the priority for me? You know you are involved in the academic world. You know you have to do a lot of things that have to do academic. Make the academic the priority. Every other thing becomes secondary. The issue sometimes is when you begin to make the secondary to be primary, then you begin to face a lot of problem. And when you begin to bring the primary to become secondary, then you begin to create a lot of imbalance. So you must see your life as a journey. At this current time, there's something that is a priority that is relevant. You give your energy to it, you complete that phase and season, and then you move to the next. You can keep developing knowledge in all of those areas, but when it comes to full commitment, there is one that demands your attention 
right now okay so i have another question here um someone is trying to ask how do i make and save money and how do i lead successfully um how do you make and save money they are really key um legit ways of making money number one is you can choose to sell your skill um, maybe you have a skill you can do with your hand you can make things or you can offer a service with your hands you can make money by actually using your skill number two you can make money by actually selling your knowledge and it has to be the kind of knowledge that people are really looking for solution all right they are looking for that solution you have to offer and then you're willing to teach them in exchange for money another thing you can do is that you can choose to offer partnerships all right you can meet up with someone who has money but does not the person does not know what to do with the money but is looking for someone who has an idea who has a skill and can implement that skill then you can go together in a partnership and decide the terms of agreement with how you want to actually do that um i remember someone was sharing somewhere with me recently of how somebody had funds and then got about three people he gave them those funds to run a poultry business all right and at the end of the day the person was able to get something back eventually when all of the things happen in that business so you could have people who have the money but you have the idea you sign an agreement you run the business you can pay back their money and yet you have the profit to still run with or to do the business again so those are those are certain ways with which you can actually make money and then you can also make money by set or you can also trade your time make money trade job and all of that so there are a lot of legit way to make money and you can do well to to search out read blogs go on youtube you would know how to make money in the area of multiplying money you really validate investment you could choose to invest your money or you can choose to put in your money to things that are worthwhile and the greatest investment is you invest in yourself so that the skill and the competence that brought that money can bring more of it okay so when you want to make money and you want to multiply it those are things you can do you make it then you multiply it through investment through putting your money in key things that can work depending on you depending on your risk level and you would get a lot of those ideas then how to lead successfully how to lead successfully starts by number one you develop your own personal leadership you take courses you read you study you volunteer for courses that gives you the privilege to lead all right to lead pra practically or to watch somebody who is leading successfully and then you begin to learn and observe and you can also utilize that same principle so leadership does not start by taking position it starts with building yourself and intentionally committing to personal leadership the more you put into your own personal leadership the more people perceive of your value and then they are willing to follow you all right leadership is simply leading people all right towards a cause or towards a vision that they are willing to be part of so that's um for that so someone um also asks i think i had to write this someone asks how do i know what course to study when i see myself being interested in more than one course so this has to do with someone who is about getting admission and you're just wondering um what course should i study i think i should go out for this course i should um study this i should study that and you just have multiple interests this is what you have to do number one you need to know who you are all right out of all of these courses you're interested in which of these matches to your personality type in such a way that it is relevant all right that's to be something relevant if you have the privilege to choose between diverse courses pick a course that is relevant please pick a course that matches your long-term vision and your long-term dream pick a course all right that um helps you to move closer to a, to a point of ambition don't just pick a course because you just want to be in the university if you have the privilege to pick a very good course pick a course that is relevant a call that a, a course that is in demand a course that matches your futuristic ambition and a course that matches your role in your life purpose or in your life assignment let me take one more question and um, see how we go <laughs> all right this is um quite tomorrow someone is asking that am i are you of the group of men that 
have the mindset of owning five dream cars, six estates before getting married, since I know someone of your caliber would be <laughs> would be settling down. I don't get. So the, the person is just trying to know whether I have the belief system that you need to have all acquisition, great acquisition before you get married. This is my simple answer I would give, which is direct. It depends on you. All right. Um, I have my own personal belief system. I have my own personal pursuits. I have my own reasons why I choose to do things I, I do and I choose to do things I don't do. So it's not of the school of thought and I don't judge anyone for what they decide. For the people who, who decide to live that way, who choose to have all of those acquisitions before they get married, they have their reasons which could be legitimate. And for those who choose not to, they also have their reasons which could be legitimate. So what you simply have to do is you decide and then how does this match to your plan? Do you think it's something you want to go into? Do you think you want to go that route? Do you think you want to wait until all those acquisitions are there? It's just fine. So there's actually no wrong, there's actually no wrong decision as regards that. The only thing I would say is that be responsible for the consequence of every decision you choose. So whether you decide to marry before you acquire those things, be responsible for the consequence, or you decide not to acquire those things, you want to marry and then go into it to acquire those things. But, but just have that willingness to pursue and to stand by the consequence. So everybody has their own reason to do what they have to do. So there's nothing wrong about it. There's nothing um wrong about it it's just perfect it just depends on whatever individual choose to do all right um let me see if i want to also ask one more question um All right, I think that's all for now. So if you really want to do well to ask your question, you can send um, a message to me on WhatsApp. Just drop your questions on plus 234-814-850609. So zero and plus 234-814-850609. So just send your questions there. I will just come up, answer your questions, and then provide answers to them in a form that you can utilize them and make the rest of, of your life the best of your life. If you have not done well to subscribe, please subscribe to this video right now. Just hit the subscribe button right now. Go down to that button and subscribe. Um, do well to like the video, share this video with your friends and drop a comment on which aspect of this video actually was striking to you. And if you still have questions, you can drop them in the comment section. I'll just come up with a new video to answer them. Um, till I come your way again in my next video, keep being exceptional. Bye-bye.